It's uh, August the 21st, the day of the big total eclipse. We're supposed to have 2 minutes and 38 seconds here of uh, total darkness, and this is 11.57 before any of the eclipse start. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the sun and all the alignment and everything. I'm going to show you as the light fails and comes back. So we'll get back with you in a few minutes. We're about 30 minutes into the start of the eclipse, and... Uh, as you can see, we got partly cloudy skies. The uh, cows are where they usually are. Uh, you know, a lot of people wonder what the if animals think it's going to be uh, time to bed down. As you can see, it's, it's a warm day over 90 here in Tennessee. So the cattle are all where they usually are this time of day. So we're going to go on the back of the farm where we can get a, a view where we won't be have any security lights or anything to interfere with the total darkness. So I'll see you in another few minutes. I got a location on the, toward the back of the farm where I uh, get a good view down toward the Cumberland River and we're uh, about 50 minutes from total eclipse and the scattered clouds are going to interfere with us somewhat uh, as far as but we'll get to see the light fail and come back so we'll as we see more changes we'll view it for you. We're about 38 minutes from total uh, the total eclipse, and uh, as you can see, it's not it, it, even though it began uh, a good while ago. It's uh, still we're not, still not getting a whole lot of obscurity of light, but uh, we'll as it starts to fade. I've seen a partial eclipse before, and it um, you, know, you get a weird kind of a twilight glow before all it gets going good. So we will uh, we'll keep you up to date with what's going on here. This is a uh, this is a, an event that hasn't happened here in 538 years in Middle Tennessee, not too far from Nashville. So, should be uh, something to see. You probably won't see the next one. So, total eclipse. Get back with you in a minute. We're a little less than 30 minutes from total eclipse, and as you can see, it still looks like a bright, sunny day with scattered clouds in Tennessee. I often wonder uh, what the Native Americans. 538 years ago who lived on and hunted on this land uh, what they thought during a total eclipse that, uh, that was really probably an eerie feeling for them uh, so we're going to uh, keep your prize as the light begins to fail here on the uh, triple stone farm we're less than 10 minutes from total eclipse and I'm beginning to see even though we got a little cloud thin cloud cover in places I, I, I think we're beginning to see the uh, dimming of the light here so it progresses to a point where you can really see it in the camera uh, you can see it with the human eye here but uh, I'll show it to you the camera will pick up light that the human eye doesn't see but it is the eclipse is really close now really close it's not clouds over the sun but it's starting to uh, lose light rapidly so I'll watch it for a little while. It's really beginning to darken the sun now. Very strange. Very strange. We're rapidly approaching total darkness.
remember the camera, the camera can see, pick up this one can pick up light. That you, it's, it's really it's just nearly dark here. But we'll get back to you when the light starts back. As you can see, the sky over there never really got completely dark as the land did. But as you can see, we're coming back pretty quick here. Uh, coming back pretty quick. We've got a kind of a glow, a twilight type glow. And uh, it'll continue to brighten here. So you sitting here with me on the back of the farm. And we saw something that great grandfather who... Bought the farm in 1855, never got to see, so it's, the light's returning rapidly. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did.